Hello, welcome to this section of the Chemistry Tutor. Let's go ahead and jump right back into another redox problem. This will be the last one where we're doing them straight up in acidic solution. Then I'll show you what to expect when you're dealing with a neutral solution, and then we'll talk about basic solutions. What you're going to find is this core process, this core thing that we've been talking about, all these steps, they are the framework by which all these other ones are done, and they're not a big deal. Once you know how to do this, once you get good at this, then doing neutral or doing basic solution is not a big deal. So it's very important for you to understand this core thing, and that's why I'm doing so many problems uh, balancing these things in acidic solution. So let's jump right in. We have manganese O4 as a negative one charge plus H2SO3 yields SO4 to negative plus manganese plus two ion. All right, so that's what we have. And the first step is to see if it's a net ionic equation. So step one, so I'm gonna put a check there. This is a net ionic equation. Most of the time you're going to be given reactions that are already in net ionic form. Step two, half reactions. So let's write down half reactions. All right, and let's go ahead and pull it off. So obviously the manganese is gonna go with the manganese. So I'm gonna have MnO4 negative goes to Mn2 plus. And then I have the H2SO3 going to the SO4 to minus. So these are the two half reactions. Obviously, we don't care about balancing charges or anything like that at this point. But in step three, I'm going to call it initial balance. That means balancing everything except for hydrogen and oxygen. So we see the manganese is balanced with the manganese. The sulfur is balanced with the sulfur. So really that step is done. So there's, when your initial balance is already done, there's no reason to write it again. I'm not trying to get you to waste paper. It's, it's just, you know, we you generally want to rewrite everything when we can and then when there's a change. But when everything's already done, just put a check mark and that way you're not wasting space. So then step four is to balance the oxygen with H2O, with water. All right, so on the very first reaction, let's write that down. MnO4 going to Mn2+. Plus. All right, so we're balancing oxygen with water. Here I have four oxygen, so I'm going to need four waters, like this. And that's it, there's no more oxygen. So the second reaction is H2SO3 going to SO4. Now I have three oxygens here and I have four oxygens here, so the only way to make that balance is to just to put one water. I only need one because I'm trying to make four of those uh, oxygens on both sides. And so 